Hello guys, it is fucking hot outside. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I just came home and I'm all alone, which is a perfect time to watch the Amazing Spider-Man trailer 2. The Amazing, what the fuck? <laughs> Spider-Man Homecoming. God damn it. Um, yeah, if you can't tell, I'm a huge Marvel fan. <laughs> In case you're new to my channel, um, Spider-Man is my all-time favorite superhero, yada yada yada. My first vi ever video was a reaction to the Amazing Spider-Man trailer, the first trailer. That's why I had the Amazing Spider-Man on my mind, because I was gonna lead into that. I love Spider-Man and the fact that he's in the MCU, who he was one of my favorite parts of Civil War, because Tom Holland played him so well. <laughs> so, I can't wait to see, to see more of that, and I really can't wait to see like the teenage aspect like what does the mcu look like for a normal person because we we see it from the great heroes we see it from the spy organization and shield i saw the the trailer for a trailer thing because we all love it when they do that so i know that spider-man's symbol can actually become like a fucking like a, the spider tracer or something i don't remember what it's called but like it's a thing from at least from the cartoons <laughs> of course. Fucking running naked and <laughs> at the streets. <laughs> so to become an Avenger, are there like trials or any movie? Do me a favor. Can't you just be a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man? <laughs> just stay close to the ground. You're the Spider-Man from YouTube. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna really like this movie. Sort of an army of spiders? Oh, Dad, no. Do you know him too? Oh, that was adorable! Cap is doing like fucking. Like Stark, they don't care about us. The world's changing, boys. Time we change too. These weapons are crazy dangerous. Listen, Peter, forget the flying monster guy. There are people who handle this sort of thing. Of course. God, this looks so much more colorful than the last trailer. They did some serious, like, color correction. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, oh. oh, of course. Ah, I wish they didn't. <laughs> what if somebody had died? <laughs> I was just trying to be like you. I want you to be better. I'm gonna need a suit back. But I'm nothing without this suit. If you're nothing without this suit, then you shouldn't have it. <sighs> oh, that's really good. I screwed up. You need to stop carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. I want you to understand. I'll do anything. Ah, uh, but they're starting to show like the third act. I don't like that. They're showing too much. Oh, it looks so good. There's an airplane, of course. <laughs> Wouldn't be Spider Man. Just don't do anything stupid. <laughs> Alright? Yeah. I love his uh, proto suit. Uh, <laughs> that looks so fucking good. Um, I find this trailer to be a bit weird, actually, because Marvel has been really, really good with like making good trailers as of late and I feel like this is a step in the wrong in the wrong direction because the whole Tony Stark thing taking back the suit this feels like the build up to the third act I hope it isn't but it really feels like it just based on the trailer again all of my thoughts are based on the trailer not the actual movie because I haven't seen the movie yet and neither have you him fighting by the school buses and all of that ah, I'm not sure I wanted to see all of that but besides that though let's just go through the entire trailer and let's talk about it. Just say how fucking colorful New York looks. Isn't it really interesting how super dark Justice League is? Not with its tone or anything, with it, how it looks. It looks dark because it takes place at night. He's basically dressing himself naked like in the streets. That's it. Tom Holland really feels like 
like Spider-Man and it's really really good. I love how Tony just like be a friendly neighborhood like stay in Queens or something. Yeah no the whole like teenage aspect I really like with him and his friend. Yeah let me let me pause that real quick. Captain America's fitness challenge and it has his dumb suit from Avengers. That is absolutely adorable. I love that. The vulture he's upset because Stark doesn't care about people like us. We gotta kill everyone. The American flag behind Spider-Man. Pretty sure that's a shot that's been in almost every Spider-Man movie. It's like an iconic Spider-Man shot of him behind the flag for some reason. And the suit, I still think that you can definitely tell like when the suit is CG and when it's not. But it's doing a, a better, good job now. Because in Civil War, the suit was completely CG. Here, it's a mixture between CG and live action. Obviously, it's gonna be fully CG when Spider-Man does flips and stuff. And... You shouldn't have a problem with that because normal humans probably can't do that. So yeah, hence the visual effects. So, I was about to say here that, oh, I don't really like how that they showed Iron Man in this shot. But then his suit, it looks like the, the ultimate Iron Man suit. With like, it's like metal, like metallic instead of like the red and yellow. Uh, but it's like red and yellow here. So it looks like the, the ultimate suit, which, <laughs> which is why I was just like, oh, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, but then the second half of the trailer really feels like it gives everything away. I hope that's not the case. I mean, obviously, the story wasn't going to be like the biggest, like, what's going on? What are all the secrets? What does it all mean? I don't really like uh, many of the comments here, because as soon as someone says, you know, what I said, oh, I think they showed too much, everyone just comes like, Oh, but how, how... Oh, yeah, it looks like you've seen the full, full movie. Well, no, of course, we haven't seen, like, everything, but you can still... You can still tell what a movie's gonna be about from a trailer, like, if they show too much, obviously. Obviously, everything is gonna be public knowledge if you look hard enough, so... I don't really agree with uh, most of the opinions from the people here. An early draft of the script was already leaked online. Normal people wouldn't read that. You don't want to go into a movie knowing everything. I do like that comment like, oh, did you let Sony be in charge of the marketing? It feels like that because this doesn't feel like a trailer that Marvel would make. Especially like when you compare it to the Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Everything is so secret there. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, that was my opinion on the Spider-Man trailer. <laughs> Obviously... Since I love Spider-Man, I am very much interested in this movie. A few of you probably think that I, I'm not interested in the movie somehow because I thought it, this trailer gave away too much, but you know, those cases are not really related, you know? But yeah, so what did you think about the trailer? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Tell me why in the comments. And I always see you guys whenever I see you guys next.